Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies Bangalore, the sales and support point for BricsCAD in India. In this CAD Power video, I am going to show you how you can use BricsCAD to export multiple PDF files. Very often you have a situation like this where design information is captured in different tables and needs to be printed frequently. Now to do this manually, it's quite an effort because you need to pick the two points each time and print it so that's error prone and takes a lot of time. So we have made it easy by providing a tool in CAD Power under the export menu. It's called multiple PDF plot. Now if you click on that, it runs the command cp underscore multiple PDF export and this can be used to plot multiple PDF files in one operation. For this you need to have polylines which represent the boundaries or the two corners to be printed and these must be closed four vertex polylines. So I have done that already here by creating these polylines in the layer plot underscore boundary and these are exactly four vertex polylines which I have already drawn for each one of these. Now if you want to see all of them I am going to do a select similar. So you can see now that there are 19 such plot boundaries which I have already created. Now once you have created the plot boundaries it's easy to print it with this command. So the first thing that you need to probably check is your page setup. Make sure that all your page setup is as per your requirements. Primarily the printer name which can either be a print as PDF or a Microsoft print to PDF or any of the physical printers. You also need to specify whether it's portrait or landscape and you also need to specify what type of color table file plot style you want to use. Now once you have set that, go back to the command multiple plot PDF, select entities, I've already selected them using select similar so I'm going to just give P and select it from the active selection set. Now once that is done you can get this menu where you can specify some of the parameters or you can just click this option which says use defaults as in the current page setup. So I can use this I can then set up my printers from the list here or if a printer is not listed here you can just type out the exact printer identifier string here. You can also specify which ctb file to use by default the two ctb files which are the default.ctb and monochrome are listed here. Now this command runs in AutoCAD also so if you are running the AutoCAD version of CAD Power instead of default.ctb you will see acad.ctb here. Now once that is done you can just click OK. So for this case I am just going to use the defaults because I have already set it in the page setup. Now this is going to create a PDF file for each one of these sheets and it will be saved in the same name as the drawing followed by an underscore and a 010203 up to 19. In this case I have 19 sheets. So it's now creating those 19 PDF files. So you can see that in one operation I am able to create all these PDF files without any requirement of having to specify the plot window multiple times. So it's almost done now. So we have the 19 files created. So if you go to the Windows File Explorer and check it out, you can see that all the files have been created here. So let's open one of these. So you can see the file name is the drawing name followed by the number. This is the 18th PDF file to be created and these are the PDF files. So the best practice is to specify the page setup correctly and let the program run in its default mode which means you use defaults as they are set in the page setup. That is probably the most effective way to use it but if you want you also have the option to specify them manually here. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching this video and do let me know if you have any questions.